Hi, I'm Jupiter, and I'm a long distance hiker. And today we will be making the greatest backpacking meal that you've ever seen. This is probably the question that I've been asked the most over the course of the last three or four years. And it's because I eat the same exact meal every single night for roughly 8,000 miles of backpacking. Now a lot of long distance hikers actually do the same thing. Lint, Swami, Scott Williamson. So how do I make it? Where do you buy it? And uh, why is it so good? Why do we keep eating the same thing all the time? So there's a lot of different kinds of beans that people like. Some people really prefer the dehydrated refried beans that come in like little flakes. Personally, I'm not really into that. There are many different companies that make this. The most popular being Fantastic Foods. But me personally, I like whole beans. You can buy this bucket which will come completely full of beans from Walmart. So if you want to find a different brand or a different company that does this, just look up dehydrated pre-cooked pinto beans. Now if you're buying the dehydrated refried kinds, those often come pre-seasoned. That's also something I personally don't really like. I want to season it myself so then I can mix it up. You can also find a lot of these beans at Whole Foods, especially the Fantastic Foods brand. So you don't necessarily have to order this stuff online. But the other stuff you get for this little recipe you can buy locally for sure. In the end, we add Fritos, which gives the beans a little bit of crunch and just adds a little bit extra calories to the meal. I add some seasoning. Now, every single time I do something different, just anything that really appeals to you, I encourage you to try. You know, just so when you're out on trail, you can get different flavors with basically the same meal. I also add olive oil to uh, my meals here, and I repackage olive oil in these little uh, apple juice bottles. So I can safely package these and safely send these through the mail because it's very, very secure. And that's just about it for ingredients. This is a great base, and the possibilities are endless as to what you can add to this. So how do you make this and how do you prepare this? This is what I rehydrate all my food in. And we'll grab some beans. So I'd say this is a good amount of beans right there. We'll add a little bit of our spices. So I say put a lot more spice in it than you think. I add some water. And with the water, you want to fill it up uh, just a little bit higher than the beans itself. There is a big advantage to the refried beans, and that is that they rehydrate in seconds. I'd say tops five minutes, your refried beans are 100% rehydrated. With these whole pinto beans, it takes about an hour. An hour before sunset, I will prepare my dinner, prepare my beans, and then once I get to camp, or a mile before camp, that is when I will eat them. You just close up your little container. So now we will, since I'm not hiking, we'll wait an hour and see what these taste like. So it's been about an hour and we're gonna see what these taste like, but first, why do we do this? Why do we like these things so much? Well, beans are a great source of protein. This is a very hearty meal. It's really lightweight for what you get and uh, provides a lot of calories. And I think the biggest reason that people like this so much, me specifically, is it's cheap. So for some finishing touches, we're gonna add a little bit of stuff to this, some olive oil. Now you don't want more than about an ounce of olive oil per night. Then we'll add some crushed up Fritos or cut crushed up corn chips to this. All right, and there we have our beautiful meal. I had one girl describe this meal. She said it looked like uh, the saddest bean she's ever seen. But then I let her try it and uh, she realized that they're really actually happy beans. They're very happy beans. So let's give it a shot.
It tastes great. It tastes just like I'm back on trail. It's the perfect backpacking meal. It's the perfect through hiking meal for especially those who want to go light and fast and really cheap. So thank you for joining me today on Cooking with Jupiter. I hope to do uh, more of these videos in the near future of other backpacking meals that have been really popular for me. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.